everybody. Welcome back to the next video about animations. Today, we're gonna attach animations to our dummy. In the previous video, we learned how to have our dummy go back and forth in between two transparent checkpoints. As you can see, it doesn't move and it looks kind of boring. So we're gonna attach an animation. First thing we need to do is we need to get ourselves inside the workspace. As you can see, only the dummies in the workspace. So we need to spawn into the game so that we can see ourselves. Once you can see your avatar in the workspace, you're gonna open up your avatar and you're gonna go down to animate. Once you see animate, open up the animate and you can go scroll down to the run animation. Once you see run, open it up and you'll see run anim. That's the animation ID that we're gonna need. So you can copy and paste this animation ID from the properties or copy it first. And then we can go ahead and stop our game and we're gonna go ahead and paste this animation ID into our dummy. How we do that is first we add a script to our dummy. Once we're done adding the script, delete the hello world in the top left, and you're gonna add a animation to the script. That animation needs an animation ID. So let's go ahead and paste what we've copied earlier into the animation ID field. Once that's pasted, we can go ahead, go back to our script, and we're gonna write our script. You can write this out, or you can copy and paste it from the description if you feel comfortable with scripts already. Once that script is written out, you can go ahead and push run, and you'll see that the animation is now attached to our dummy. And now it's just no longer moving like a block. So next we're gonna add clothing. As you can see, we need to add a shirt and pants. So you can go over to the dummy in the workspace, add a shirt, and add pants. Nothing will happen because we need to link that to a URL. So we're gonna go ahead and spawn ourselves back into the game. Once we're back inside the game, we're gonna go find our character in the workspace. Once we find our character in the workspace, we're gonna go ahead and click on shirts. You're gonna copy that shirt template into another Word document. Go ahead and copy, you're gonna copy two of these. You're gonna get the pants as well. So you're gonna go ahead and copy and paste those into another Word document so you have them. Once you have both of those, shirt and pant template, you can stop the game. Go click on your dummy in the, in the studio and click on shirt and paste that URL in the shirt template that you copied earlier. Once you paste it inside and hit enter, you'll see that your dummy will take on your shirt. Also, you can do this with the pants. You're gonna click on pants, and then you're gonna go ahead and paste that inside the pants template, push enter, and now our dummy has pants. As you can see, when we run, now our dummy has three things. It's moving between two transparent checkpoints, it's clothed, and it has an animation. Thanks for learning animations with me. I'll see you in the next video.